They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead while I was passing by. You just wake up when you notice that your husband is still in the bed. This is the first time you woke up that he is still sleeping. You get used to it when you wake up, he's already gone. You and Taeyong are married for six months, but it's not a marriage that you want. It's an arranged marriage planned by both of your parents for company benefits. At first, you don't like him, but days and months pass by, you fall for him. He is a cold person. Usually, he don't talk to you, but lately, you notice him talk to you often, and you always caught him staring at you, secretly. You will stand up and went to the bathroom and do your morning routine. After that, you go downstairs to make breakfast. You are busy in the kitchen when you heard footsteps coming as you saw your husband going downstairs while holding some documents. Morning, you don't have work today? You ask, since it's already 8 but he is still there. But he don't give you any reply. He just look at you straight in your eyes and sit on the couch. What do you want for breakfast? Again, he didn't answer. You felt frustrated because you did everything to make him notice you, but no effect, as if he doesn't care about you. <sighs> if you don't want, at least answer me. Sorry, I'm busy for tonight party. Just cook whatever you want, I'm going to eat, because you are good at cooking. He said while busy on his phone. After some time, you're done preparing the breakfast and call him to eat. How is it? He do not answer, instead he just nod his head. Wait a minute. You know I don't understand. Are you mad or angry with me because I became your wife? What kind of question is that? Just answer me. No. Happy? Then why you treat me like this? I mean, you are so cold to me. Because... I don't like you because I love you but I know you don't like me you just care about me because I'm your husband you glare at him because deep inside you are hurt by his words your heart is torn into a thousand pieces the guy you love doesn't like you don't worry I don't like you too this is great. We continue being like this, living together even we doesn't like each other. Taeyong stopped eating. He just is staring at his plate while he's facing out. But I don't want to live like this. Would you love me back? I'm full. Call me if you're done eating. You're about to stand, but Taeyong speaks. YN, can I take you to the company party later? Why? For what reason? So they will know that you are my wife. No need. We're just married because of the company, but we don't have a feelings for each other, right? 
you will stand up and go to the living room. Time skip. You saw Taeyong walking downstairs, and he's freaking handsome with his red suit. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? No, thank you. Okay. He looked at you, and after that, he left. But you noticed him. He looked so sad. You heard the car engine started and left. You took a deep breath and sat on the couch. In a few minutes, you heard the car coming and stopped in front of your house. You thought it was Taeyong. Maybe he forgot something and came back. That's why you just ignore him. Until you heard a familiar voice talking at your back. Why are you here? Why you don't come to the party? Oh, Oppa! Mm, I'm not in the mood. I mean, I'm sure Taeyong don't really want to see you there. What are you saying? Go upstairs and change. I will bring you to his party. There's no need for that. I'm your older brother-in-law. You must follow me. So go upstairs now. And since you are afraid that his flying pink sleepers and you're also afraid that he might start rapping, you just choose to follow him. All right, all right, I'll go to change now. Tayo eyes widened after seeing you entering the party with his brother. He suddenly felt jealous and insecure over him. Your husband stared at you with burning eyes, like he wants to put you in the sack and show you to Mars. Jin and Taeyong are siblings. Jin should be the one you can marry, but Taeyong presented to marry you because he already had a crush on you. Look at this girl. I invited her earlier, but she don't come with me. And now she's her with her brother. Should I help these two idiots? Do you want to dance? No, it's okay, Opa. Besides, Taeyong is here. Oh, come on. Let him be. Jin pulled you closer to him and took your hand and placed it on his shoulder. Wow, look at this old guy. I don't even touch my wife, and you just touch her that easily? Jin smiled widely as he placed his hand into your waist, and you two start dancing in the middle of the crowd. Wow, how dare you to dance her? Jin keeps on telling dad jokes. Even it's not funny, still you keep on laughing to tease Sayon and make him jealous. Wow, having fun, huh? Well, I'm here with my ass on fire with jealousy. In his anger, Taeyong grabbed the two glass of whiskey and drank it straight by looking at you and his brother with full of jealousy. Okay, I think this is enough. Enough for making him jealous? How did you know? I read your mind? <laughs> you two are about to go back to your seat, but Taeyong came and blocked your way as he pulled you closer to him. Stop it, please. You're hurting me so badly. Huh? What did you say? You asked, but Taeyong fell down. Good thing is, you catch him. You smell alcohol, Tay. Are you drunk? I want to go home. Alright, fine. Let's go home. Tayong's secretary came to help you, but Jin stopped him. He helped Tay instead. 
He pulled his brother as he placed Taeyong's hands on their shoulder. Then he winked at Taeyong. Actually, Taeyong is a drunk. He is just pretending to grab your attention. But unfortunately, Jin caught him. So Jin helped his brother. You help him until you two reach the room. You slowly place him in the bed and remove his shoes. You sit on the floor and remove the hair that covering his face. You will smile after realizing that he was holding her hands tightly. I hope you're always like this so I can love you freely. You said because you know he's sleeping and even though he heard you, you know he will forget everything what you said when he wakes up because he's drunk. But you flinch when Feiyong suddenly opens his eyes. You can love me freely because I'm yours and I love you for a long time. You want to escape out of embarrassment. You quickly stand up to get out of the room, but Feiyong grab your hand and pulls you to the bed. He make you lay in the bed and hug you tight. You just freeze out of shock and just let him to hug you. Because that time, you were in cloud nine. You felt butterflies in your stomach. And you like it. Wife, can I love you? You look at him. But you don't need to ask my permission. Because I'm afraid that you don't like me. That's why I'm asking you. If... Is it okay with you? One thing for sure, I don't hate you. Then can I ask also your permission? Can I love you back? Yes, of course. And I'm so happy to hear that. He said as he kissed your forehead. You chuckle and hug him tightly.